Hi, I'm Lydia. We're working with some aerial fabric today. You can't just walk into Joann's and pick this up. This is a specialty piece of equipment. Um, we're gonna start with some body circles. We're reaching the arms up, pulling the arms down into the shoulder sockets, leaning back, and taking little circles, leading with the pelvis. We're gonna do three each side. And pull up even more, Stephanie. Pull up. Nice. And coming back to the back space and switching directions. Taking the fabric, bringing the fabric in front of the body. Inhale, coming forward, stretching the shoulders. Perhaps opening the feet, hip switch distance if that feels good to you. And let's go ahead, swing the fabric back around, reaching up. We're going to do the same thing, one leg. Three circles each side. And swishing the fabric back around to the front. One more stretch forward. And pulling back on the right side. And then the left. Bringing the fabric back behind us. Sinking down to our chair pose. Right leg up over the left. If this isn't quite enough, open up gently to the side. How's that? Inhale, bringing your foot back down to the ground, shifting forward. Coming to a straight plank position, pulling the rib cage in, pelvis tips gently to the ground, head in line with the spine. Lovely. Gaze slightly upwards. And inhale, shifting yourself back, stepping the feet forward, gentle arch. Bringing yourself back up, shifting forward. And coming back through the middle, Bringing the left leg up. And arching back. Here the fabric should be placed right about a third of the way down the back, so you can really release into this, opening up the shoulders. And inhale, coming up, staying down. We're gonna either keep the hands on or bring the hands down, keeping the rib cage tucked. We're gonna bring the knees up and back down. So a little tip here, very often people like to wear sleeves. This will feel a lot better if we all had sleeves. It would. And 
from here, we're going to take some forward and back swings. And this time, Sarah is going to demonstrate for us. We're going to do straight leg pike ups. So sinking back down, bringing the legs long, Sarah's going to lift and lower her legs. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go for 10. These are super hard. If you can bring your legs up at all, you're doing amazing. I like to press my palms into the fabric. Some people like to grab. And if you can, bring the legs all the way up. And back down. 10, ladies. If this is a little challenging, keep the legs bent, take little hops. Keep working on this one. This is the kind of thing that you might see in a training video from really strong, Cirque du Soleil type performer. Seriously, this is the kind of exercise that they do. That's how they get strong. <laughs> Let's see one with straight legs. Come on. Nice. And the last one, go ahead and go for the flip. So switch to a regular grip, and we're going to go all the way around. Gentle, soft landing using the core. Nice. Let's take a little up. And coming up, one more set. So for this one, like I said, if you can get your legs up at all, that's a huge accomplishment. You don't need to do 10 reps of everything. You don't need to do as many as I'm giving you. Two for some people is a whole lot. If you get your legs up at all, that's amazing. We're going to bring one knee in. And really go ahead and lean back using your grip, using your arms to support you. Up. And when we're ready, we're going to bend the knees, coming out the back side, leaving one leg in, and taking some swings to the leg. And after a couple of those, we're going to bring the leg all the way around and coming with the hands down to the ground. Shifting yourself forward. For many people, this is going to be enough. Kelly's going to take a forearm variation, and Sarah and Stephanie are going to take full variations, floating the back leg up into the fabric. And we're going to hold. And from here, we're going to tuck the knees in and one side and the other. Our goal is 10.
Nice. So here, Stephanie is going to lean farther forward on her hands, taking the pressure off her wrists, turn her elbows in towards each other, and take that dip out of her low back. Good. And when we're done, we're gonna bring our right leg out to the ground. Yeah. And press back. Little child's pose. And inhale, popping the leg back up. We're gonna do one more set. Let's check yours out, Kelly. Nice. So here you can see how engaged Kelly's whole back is. Nice job. Nice. And this is really challenging if you need to take a rest. Please do. Take your time. From here, coming back over the hands, bringing both feet up, we're gonna pike. So we're right over our heads. We're stacking our hips right over our arms. And again, going for 10, doing what you can. Nice, everyone. Yeah, beautiful. Bringing one leg back down to the ground, pressing back. And coming back up, replacing the leg one more time. And this time we're going to come to pike and do little push-ups. <laughs> I told you ladies, we had some awesome new stuff today. Nice. So Kelly, you may have gone just a little too far. Just hang out there. Or if you want to try something else, Come to one hand and leave one forearm. Yeah. If you feel like it. Nice. And take a second. Go back to child's pose. One leg in the air. out, reach the arms forward, open the knees, and really arch yourself down to the ground, pulling the shoulders back into their sockets. fabric, one leg out, and we're going to bicycle. So as I come in, I'm bringing the knee into chest, lowering. As I bring the free leg up, I'm going to raise my whole body. Nice. So 
from here, really bring that leg into chest. More, more, more. And lift up. Bring it in, lower your whole body, raise up. Good. Nice. That's what it should look like. But how many of those can we do? Two? Two? 25? <laughs> All right. Taking another child's pose, we're going to head into the other side. Stacking the hands right underneath the shoulders, that bone stacking will help make that ever so slightly easier. forward one more time. up to tuck and back down for 10. So here we can use a little bit of a hop if we need that extra help. Nice. Pulling the shoulders down the back. Maybe bring your arms down to bend. Maybe not reaching all the way up. You certainly can if you feel like it. Pulling the ribcage in. The goal is 10. Do as many as you can. And let's come down. Sink down from here. We're going to leave the legs long. Take a breath. Inhale, coming back up. This time we're gonna do a long leg version. So sinking back down, reaching up, one rep, long legs. Here we're going to re-wrap and we're going to do some bowls. So this time we're going to pull the knees into chest, flip upside down, come back all the way down. Five. Sure, let's see it. Nice. So a little trick. If you get here and you're stuck, use your feet to help push you up. Let's see it. Nice. And keep your legs tucked tight. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. That was 
was a really cute variation. You had this little like cross like thing going on. I love it. You're tired. <laughs> this is a hard one. All right, so this time we are going to um, come up into a straight position, pike, come on down. So we'll do five. Sound good? All right. Right here as much as possible. So this is very much like a handstand if you do that on the floor. Your hips are right over your shoulders. Yes. Lengthen up. <laughs> up. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah. So maybe just a tiny little farther back as you can. Let's see it, Stephanie. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> All right, after that, we're gonna go into um, some, we're just gonna do some straddles. So pushing the fabric down on the back, we're gonna invert and come back up. Great legged version. Nice. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> so hold down there, yeah. And nice. coming forward, little arch. Bring the fabric around back, taking her up. And this time we're going to do meat hooks. We're going to lift, and the beginner version is to bring a leg through the fabrics to pike over to one side and then the other. We're going to go for two on each side. So if that's a little bit challenging, just go ahead and lift yourself up into a straddle and come on down. Sarah, I want you to try the full version. Yeah, so go ahead and take your leg, bring it between the cloths. Yes, nice. Other side. Nice. So today, maybe just a straddle. Opening up the fabric, shaking out your fabric so you can lay down in it. We're going to scooch ourselves into a seat. And we're going to do some Navasana or boat pose variations. That's a yoga term. Walking the fabric up the thigh, leaning back into the fabric, curving the low back into the fabric, bringing the legs up, taking the hands behind the head. We're just going to do a small little lift and lower. So Stephanie, I'm going to have you lift your legs higher to start. So your abs are already engaged. Legs long, my dear. And your range of motion is simply here to here. That's it. And then relax your head back. 
Don't use your neck. If relaxing your neck is a big challenge, we can go ahead and bring the fabric up over the head so you can lay back completely in your fabric. Nice, let's do just a couple more. And go ahead and point your toes. And let's go ahead and return to a seated position. And feel free to bring your arms on the back side, hooking the elbows, take a little lean forward. This is an aerial version of a child's pose. If you find that you're feeling a little tipped forward, go ahead and bring the fabric down closer to the knees. And inhale, come on up. Coming back to our little boat, this time we're gonna do one that will definitely confuse the brain. We're gonna bring the same side, knee and elbow together, and twist the body through the cloth, and you'll definitely feel that in your thighs. So let's shoot for 10. Inhale, bring yourself back up, hooking the elbows again, child's pose. Bring the feet in, push the fabric out. So little pull up with the hands, just to get your whole leg in the fabric. Holding on, we're slowly gonna lower ourselves down. All the way into a deep back arch, this should feel lovely. If you're doing this at home and you find that you have a lot of fabric gathered up on your low back, as you can see Stephanie, she has a whole lot of fabric. This can be a little bit uncomfortable. If you get there, scoot yourself farther back in the fabric. Be sure that you still have enough to support your weight, but not so much that it's causing that unnecessary tension and pressure on the loop. And in your own time, inhale, bring yourself back up. We're gonna lift up and reset the fabric. So for this one, let's go ahead and flip around. Placing the fabric down at the sacrum, that's the bony part right above the butt. Leaning the weight back into the fabric, we're gonna bring the legs up on the outside. Take one leg and then the other to the fabric. Crochet them and push your legs straight. From here, we're gonna do 10 little thigh presses in. And then from here, we're gonna do one of my personal favorites. We're gonna press the thighs in, hold, and lift. We're going for 10. Nice, so press the thighs together first. Big press, and then lift as slowly as you can. Nice. And the 
Let's all go for three more. ab exercises. We're going to take one elbow behind the head and try to connect it to the thigh. If you need a quick break, come on up. It's this is a long time to be inverted. And as we're here, we're going to try to stay on a two-dimensional plane. So we're just going to think about coming straight to the side. Bending the knees, reaching for the fabric between the knees, coming to a straddle. Lowering yourself back to the ground, holding on to your hammock for a second, letting the equilibrium settle. So we're going to come around the other side of the fabric again, making our way down to the ground. Placing our hands behind us, fingers away from the body, lifting one and then the other leg. Coming to lay back. We're gonna do 10 lifts. And then we're going to pull ourselves up off the ground, taking 10 little tucks. And once again, bringing the legs in, lifting, gentle side to side swings. And slowly lowering yourself a little with each subsequent swing. Bringing yourself down to the ground, bringing the knees out, hugging into chest, and gentle movement side to side. And rolling to one side using the arms to help bring you up. We're gonna make our way up to the fabric one last time. Placing the fabric around our backs, pressing it into the sacrum. Straddle yourself into inverted. One leg goes over both cloths. The other rotates back behind you. And gravity will open your hips. arms can gently brush the floor. If you really want to get fancy here, go ahead and reach for your ankle with one or both hands.
Inhale, that arm straight. Wrap it around. Open the other leg up. Dropping it back behind you. time reaching up for the fabric unhooking the leg coming back up we're gonna open up the fabric find our way to a seat bringing the legs in opening up the fabric back behind us laying back for our final relaxation thank you for joining us Thank you for joining us. For more workouts like this, you'll have to join me by voting.